Hi, hello, how are you? One second, I am welcoming to this video lecture. Uh, uh, today's discussion will be administrative theory of management. So, this is Dr. Arthamundu Jaina, Senior Assistant Professor, PG Department of Business Management, Fakirmoni University, uh, Basavari Balesur, Odisha. Uh, administrative theory of management, uh, Henry Pell has given 14 golden principles. So, uh, before discussing the 14 golden principles, so let us have the brief by that uh, about the Henry Fayel. Henry Fayel was born uh, on 1841 in France. After graduation, Henry Fayel joined as in a coal mining company as junior engineer. In the year of 1888, he became the managing director of this company. So, the definitions given by the Henry Fayel, Henry Fayel, dear friends, he is the father of the administrative theory of management. So, one second I am repeating, Henry Fayel is the father of uh, the administrative theory of management. According to him, Henry Fayel, the definitions of the management to manage, uh, the, to manage is to forecast as well as plan, to organize, to command, coordinate and control the various activities of um, business, uh, sorry, of a business organization. So, without delay, we will start our discussion, 14 golden principle. Dear friends, easily you can remember. Okay, so there is the converse between the, uh, the dad and the son. Then the son asked a question to his dad, 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 dad you see, USSR, then the dad replied, oh, I see. Easily, so 14 golden principles, so there are 14 alphabets or 14 letters easily you can remember. So, we will discuss one by one. So, first the D, it is the division of work. According to the fail, so division of work means the division of work among the employees of the organization in order to bring the specialization and this will be helpful to achieve the objectives of the organization. So, first D is over, come to A. A means authority and responsibilities. Authority and responsibility will go side by side, both are complementary as well as supplementary with each other. What is this? Authority and responsibility, those who will accept the authority, those who will accept the authority, he or she must or employee must willing to take the responsibilities in order to achieve the objectives of the organization. So, A is over, then come to D. So, D it is the discipline, it is also very, very vital. Not only uh, from the management point of view, but also from the society point of view or individual point of view. So, discipline implies the compliance with the rules, regulation, orders and instruction which are given by the superior to the subordinates. So, the subordinate must follow or must uh, uh, follow or uh, discharge the activities according to the existing rules, regulations, orders and instructions given by the superior. Okay. Let us come to you, you what is this unity of command? Dear friends, so frequently you will get the question and it is also very very interesting and you can easily remember what is this. So, uh, unity of command or this principle implies says that one superior, one superior should, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, subordinates, one subordinates, sorry, should get the orders or instruction from one superior only regarding his work. Once again, unity of command, it is nothing but what uh, it is a one subordinate should get the orders and instruction from one superior regarding his or her works. So, next one is that is the centralization. Centralization is nothing. What is this? The rights or powers is concentrated or vested in one point. Uh, the centralization implies that no hard and fast rule can be applied towards extent of authority to be written at the top level, I mean the superior and to uh, an extent, what extent to be given the authority to the subordinates. So, when centralization means when the authority or powers is vested or concentrated at a single point, it is known as the centralization and this centralization opposite is that is the decentralization, I mean where the importance when the importance is given to the subordinates, it is known as that is the decentralization. Dear friends, then uh, C is over, then come to the U. What is this U? U, U it is the unity of a direction. Unity of a direction. So, there should be one head, there should be one head 
and one plan for the group activities having the same objective it must be followed and it's a uh, it's a, it must be followed in order to achieve the objectives of the organization the next uh, yes it's a what is this that is the scholar chain it's also very very vital and important the chain of a supervisor ranging from the ultimate authority to the, the lower ranks in the organization here the authority will be flowed from top level to lower level similarly the responsibility will be uh, will be transferred from subordinates or the uh, lower levels of management to the upper levels of management or the top levels of management yes next s so it's a subordination of individual interest to the general interest general interest so general or the common interest general or the common interest is above all the individual's interest when there is the conflict between b slash w it's the between these two so in this situation the general interest or the common interest will be taken into consideration in order to achieve the objectives of the organization as well as to have the efficiency as well as the effectiveness of an organization yes r so r it's a remuneration to the personnel it's a the very very vital so i will also wish that after getting your degree you will join any OER. so you must get the handsome remuneration so remuneration to personnel personnel means the employee of the organization personnel means the employee of the organization here so remuneration payable definitely the the salary or the or the remuneration salary or wages or the compensation will be paid to the personnel so remuneration payable to the employees irrespective that is the okay the that is the executives or the non-executives for the discharging the work which should be the fair just equitable and the fair so that the employees will be motivated uh, will be more and more towards their work and definitely or finally the objectives of the organization can be achieved easily and here also the organization will also retain the talented or expertise or the experienced employees then uh, o o stands for it's the order the tenth the principles of o um, given by the henry file it's the order a place for everything and everyone in its place so the right man for the right place if this will be followed then objectives of the organization can be achieved easily next one is that is so i i it's a, that is the initiative so what is this so initiative is based on thinking and execution of plans the plans and policies which are um, um, framed or made by the top levels of management so that definitely so this must be executed and here also the freedom will be given to the employees in order to um, so the, uh, in order to or they will be the creative and innovative and it uh, the initiatives is a based on or initiatives are based on thinking and execution of plans and increases the initiatives so definitely will enhance or will increase the zeal and the energy among the employees in the organization yes next yes what is this it's the stability of a tenure of personnel that is the time period so according to this the principles uh, develops the loyalty and the sense of belongingness among the employees in the organization so that here it's also very very vital then e stands for what is this that is the equity it's a very very vital it's a very very vital a manager so manager will manage manager will manages all the activities of the organization so therefore a manager should treat the employees with justice with kindliness and no description should not be there while dealing with the employees so it's the primary responsibility or the obligation of the manager um, must treat the employees equally with justice and the kindness and the manager should not make any discrimination if there will be the okay the injustice or the discrimination then the uh, objectives of the organization will be the victim and finally it may not be able to achieve the objectives of the organization last but not the least the golden principles uh, it's the e it's what is this is uh, spirit d corps or it's a what is this the team spirit always there should be the team spirit the manager must see so how there will be the team spirit if there will be the team spirit then everything can be possible yes what is this union is the strength which means the that is the spirit of loyalty and the devotion uh, which will unite 
of a group in order to achieve the objectives of the organization. So easily dear friends, you can easily remember the 14 golden principles. Only you have to remember that you see USSR, O, I, C. Easily you can remember. So this, uh, this is all about our discussion. So uh, once again, I am requesting to all of you kindly you like it, kindly you share it, kindly you forward it and the PDF of this uh, video lecture is also available in the description box. So thanks a million to all of you.